Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes. This is just a message for somebody I don't know who. It's not sign specific, so it may or may not be for you. It doesn't matter what sign you are, and it's really not time specific. I, I consider these dailies, you know, they could be happening, you know, could have happened yesterday, could be happening today, could be happening tomorrow, could be happening the day after, you know, something like that. Okay, so let's just see what we got. Well, what do you call that? Uh, a pile up? <laughs> well, that's probably what it is. Some sort of mess. We got a mess by the looks of things. Maybe we should start over. Maybe we should. Maybe we should start over. Remember, every word that comes out of my mouth during a reading is part of the reading. Everything that happens is part of the reading. So, I think we'll just start over here. Hmm. Well, we have the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords. Uh, this is a new perspective. Okay, this is somebody who may get this new idea, this new thought. Uh, she, she may be sitting around thinking, all of a sudden she gets some sort of epiphany. Okay, she gets some sort of awakening even. Okay, so this is a, this doesn't have to be a she. Okay, this is an energy right here. This is somebody who, you know... It is an epiphany. You notice up here in the clouds, like it's like there's some sort of guidance. Yeah, somebody is getting some sort of new, uh, a new idea. Maybe they're thinking about taking a new approach. Hmm. If somebody is really thinking. It's like they've they've been asking about something and they receive the message. It's like they receive the clarity. Okay, it's like something opens up. It's like there's some sort of message that comes comes through. This is a message from a higher power. Okay, this is like uh, this is a new idea. This is what this is. It's like somebody gets this uh, epiphany. All right. Ooh, the Wheel of Fortune. Yes, yeah, it's, it's time. It's time for a change. This is the wheel spinning. This is the Wheel of Fate. This is a cycle. This is the, this is this. Hmm. The Devil Reverse taking back control. Somebody is about to take their power back. That is the Sword of Power. Somebody is, has gotten this newfound uh, idea or clarity that tells them that, you know, it's time. It's time to change my direction. It's time to let go of this unhealthy situation. This is a, the, the devil reversed. It's freedom. It's freedom. It's freedom from something that was unhealthy. The wheel is spinning in a positive direction. Isn't this Saturn energy, Capricorn? Now, I am not known an astrologer, but we have a big change here. That is what this is. So, oh, this is your clarity, Seven of Cups. This is clarity. Yeah, somebody has received some sort of, there's no more confusion. That's what this is. Somebody has received the message. It's, it's, it's like I saw the sign. You know what I mean? Somebody has got the message. It's like I get it. I got it. I understand. I understand. It's time for me to change my direction. It's time for me to let go of that old cycle. It's time for this cycle to end. This is a cycle ending. <laughs> Taking back control. Breaking a bond. Freeing themselves from something that was toxic and unhealthy. This is like severing, okay? Breaking the chains. Getting the clarity. 
Yes, six of cups reversed. Somebody is breaking free from the past. They are. This is letting go. This is the past, but this is clinging to the past. This is breaking free. Breaking free from that. Letting it go. Probably realizing. This is realizing. It is. This is realizing that the past has been keeping them stuck. The past was unhealthy. The past was toxic. So somebody is realizing. It's like they, all of a sudden they wait. Like the awakening. It's like they wake up. It's like boom. I'm awake. I'm awake. I get it. This is a card of consequences. So I feel like, and this one is too. So somebody has been dealing with the consequences of not taking action. Not taking action has not, it may have even affected their health. Death. Death reverse, holding us, something, it has affected their health, absolutely. Holding on has gotten too old. I can't hold on anymore to this dead end. Somebody has been holding on to the past. This is the, this is the death. And they realize that that is a dead end. It's like, this is the realization. Resisting change, big time. <laughs> Ace of Swords reversed. The consequence. This is a card of. Uh, there was consequences for not accepting the truth. Somebody was suffering, really, really suffering. But it's like now they they've received the clarity. That that uh, the relationship that they were holding on to wasn't stable, wasn't solid, wasn't secure. And it's like now, <laughs> there's no going back. Ten of Pentacles reversed. This is the end of a legacy. It's the end of a family situation or an end of... You know, something that was comfortable at one time. Somebody could be moving. Somebody may be realizing. This is realizing. That is what this is. This is a realization. Somebody has come to some sort of realization that it is time to change my direction and break free from this unhealthy situation. And they may be deciding to move. Okay? Somebody may actually be deciding in the very near future to move. To make a move. Okay? If they haven't already. Okay, they may have, it may have already happened. It may have. Somebody has realized that holding on to this dead end is not going to bring them happily ever after. Okay, then they've realized that. After being asleep and giving away their power to this for so long, they, somebody has been in a state of confusion for a really long time. Living in some sort of fantasy land, living in some sort of fantasy, feeding into some sort of fantasy. And it's like now they realize that this is a dead end. And it's time. It's time. They've gotten their awakening. They've received their epiphany or the message or whatever. That it's done. It's over. Nine of... Realizing that the person that they were holding... This is holding on. The death reverse, this is holding on. Realizing that the person that they were holding on to doesn't complete them. And it's time for me to take action. It's time for you to take action. It's like realizing that I have to take action. I need to find my discipline. I need to find my discipline to stand up for myself and make a better choice rather than hold on to a toxic, unhealthy situation that has kept me chained and bound and stuck. Somebody was dealing with an egotistical individual. Somebody that probably uh, really, really manipulated them. Uh, made them feel really, really good. And it was all based on lust and nothing but lust. Um, we have somebody here that hasn't known their worth and didn't 
was scared to be on their own or didn't know how to be on their own and so they held on or they had or they are still holding on you know but i think they're about to let go i really do if they haven't already because this is big this is universal this is destined change of course this is fate it's time to break these chains it's time to sever these cords with this unhealthy habit this unhealthy situation there's codependency here with the devil uh, mirroring the nine of pentacles, somebody's been holding on for codependency reasons. Somebody may have even had some addictions that were clouding, see the clouds, their thoughts, okay? Clouding their thoughts. And now, you know, it's like, now they've received the clarity. So I feel as though we have somebody here that is deciding, uh, this is decision, they've made a decision. Probably to stop communicating or to stop giving their energy away to this dead end. It's over. It's done. This is a completion. You don't complete me. I realize that. You don't complete me. I complete myself. It's time. It's time to change my direction. So somebody is changing their direction. It's meant to be. It's meant to happen at this time. This is a lucky break. Somebody, um, whatever is happening is bringing you closer. It's bringing you closer to your destination, to where you're supposed to be. And it's like, this is, this, this is somebody realizing the reason, perhaps. I get it. So somebody is realizing their worth by the looks of things. Or they have. They finally realized their worth. After holding on to this dead end for a really long time. Could be they've held on to it for seven years or 13 months or maybe even six months. I don't know. It could be longer. Seven years is prominent as well. Could be nine years even. Anyhow, I feel as though somebody has held on to a dead end for way too long. And like now they get this realization that it is time. It's time for me to go. It's time for me to go in a different direction. Um, Knight of Cups. This is a relationship. I, I want a relationship. I want romance. I want love. So... This is taking action. This knight takes action. It's like, I got a big heart. I got a lot of love to offer. Now we get the page of cups. Somebody is, is going looking for love here. It's like, I want love. I deserve love. Somebody may be deciding to really, really open their heart to someone new. Somebody's going to be receiving a message, and this is a welcome message. This is something you don't ex don't expect. This is an unexpected message of love that is coming in from somebody that has been. Um, this person has been confused. This person um, has been holding on to something for a long time. Maybe they were maybe they were holding on to a codependent situation, or this person. I needed to completely break free from something before they could communicate. There is some sort of communication coming in with these, with the Knight of Cups and the Page of Cups. There is some sort of loving gesture or loving message or ro budding romance or something on the horizon. There is. Because somebody is breaking free from an unhealthy situation and it, and it could be fear. I mean, the devil is ruled by the shadow side. It even could be fear. It could be fear of giving up independence for some of you. This quote, you got, what, thousands of people that watch this. So take what resonates and leave the rest. Somebody has been letting fear of giving up their independence hinder them from starting over. It's funny that all those cards fell out. From, from getting into a relationship. Fear is huge. Okay? So... Yeah. Hmm. Ooh, Ace of Cups reversed. 
Now this is a loss of emotion. Not feeling loved and wanting love. Somebody is hasn't been getting the love that they really, really need. And it's like, I really want it. I want it. So I feel like we have somebody that is changing. This is a major destined change. It's like they're no longer blocking the wheel from spinning. They're letting it spin. Spin, spin, spin. I'm ready. I'm ready. That's what this is. And we got, we got the King of Cups on the bottom. So we got some love that is coming in. This is, this is somebody who is ready for love. Somebody that is ready for love is coming in. This person does have a big heart. This person is very feeling. This person is very charming and romantic. And this person is looking for love. So we have somebody here that is, is no longer going to hold on to a dead end. It's like I'm letting it go because I want love. And it's because they tell the universe that they want love. And they, they realize and they put themselves out there and they open their heart to love. It's like here it is. Here it is. This is love. So there is love. There is absolutely love here. Um, I think there's an unexpected message coming in from somebody. I that uh, has been letting fear, fear maybe even of commitment. You know, fear of getting themselves hurt. You know, fear of uh, what everybody else might say, might say, even in their family. I don't know get in the way but now it's like you know what I want love and that's what matters now so I feel like we have somebody here that is going to probably receive communication from somebody I think it's somebody I, I you know it could be somebody from your past it could be it could be somebody new somebody is going to be receiving a loving message this is a probably a flirtatious message um, it's unexpected, okay? It is definitely unexpected. Um, you don't see it. You don't, because this Ace of, this Ace of Swords is reversed. And the Ace of Cups is reversed. This person has, is, it's like I haven't been loved and I want love. I want love. <laughs> this person has been struggling with the Seven of Cups. They've been struggling with their choices. They've been struggling with making this decision but the decision with the seven of cups reversed is being made you know it's being made i'm going to go ahead and offer this because you see that both of these guys are looking down but they're they're here it is okay here's my love here's my love here it is do you want it or not so it's kind of like do you want it please tell me you do that kind of thing um, so yeah that's what i got there is somebody is going to receive an unexpected welcome a uh, loving message from somebody. I hope it's you. Good luck.